Hey guys, Rock here in Island Pond, Vermont. It is March 24th, 2022. Uh, today I got a uh, 2000 Polaris Explorer 400 4x4. Uh, this is a two-stroke um, engine, fully uh, fully automatic, high-low range, four-wheel drive. Um, we're going to do a little walk around here and then I'll take it for a test drive. See how it goes. It's in pretty good shape. Does have a little um, spot here that uh, broke on the rear rack, but doesn't really affect things. Um, as you can see, this is a straight axle chain drive on the rear, and then it's uh, shaft driven up front, front, so not too much maintenance. Uh, does have 2100 miles. Uh, yeah, so um, uh, like I said, it is a two stroke liquid cooled. Um, so, this right here is where you put your oil injection. So, you always want to make sure that's topped off, similar to uh, most two stroke snowmobiles. So, let's, uh, let's hop on this thing and try it out. All right, so we'll hop on this thing. Um, it does have a, so this has got electric start. It's also got a backup recoil. Um, but uh, electric start works, so we'll use that. So key switch, and then right here, you get your push button electric start. High range, reverse, all the way over is low range. <clears throat> it's in two-wheel drive right now. We'll give her a test run. Let it warm up here for a minute. So this is your normal Polaris, uh, like sportsman seating position. It's got a big comfy seat, like the sportsman's. Got the big plastic racks. Uh -huh. Main difference is the motor and the uh, chain drive. Uh, rear end on this So these two strokes They uh, They don't take much and you put a little bit of money into them and you can uh, you can put out a lot of power on these things actually um, Stock form they're okay. They're not overly impressive, but But uh, we'll give her a run and then on the way on the way back to the house on the road, I'll uh, do a top speed run. Obviously, we're getting into a little snow. Probably better throw the all-wheel drive light, uh, all-wheel drive switch on. You can see the light switched on. Uh, high range still. Oh, definitely going to test the uh, four-wheel drive out here, but we will throw it in low. Not quite. Get that front end up then maybe. Yeah, hopefully I can get up in here. There we go. So even though it is a um, solid rear axle, chain driven this thing still rides pretty plush <clears throat> not quite as good as your independent uh, sportsman's but they're very good for what it is yeah, there's a little bit more snow up here than I thought but we're gonna try to 
see how far we can get. Try out that four wheel drive. If anything get on that camera or not. It's not much up here, so that's good. Low range. Having an early spring this, uh, well, early thaw this spring, I guess. One thing nice about these Polaris is, is they are uh, they are true all wheel. I mean, all four tires will spin, and that definitely helps in situations like this when you need all the traction you can get. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do my normal loop, so I think I'll turn back around, I'll get out to the road, I'll play in the field a little bit, get out to the road, and um, and I'll do the top speed run. Because I haven't been around the loop in... Uh, well, this winter with the four-wheeler, so it's going to be pretty rough. They're pretty covered with snow. These have been tracked down, and I'm seeing uh, how hard of a time I'm getting right now. So, so yeah, anyways, uh, being two-stroke, um, you know, the, a lot of people say they're not as reliable. These motors are actually very reliable as long as they're taken care of. You know, you might have to change your spark plug uh, more often than, say, a four-stroke. Um, usually, I do it once a season on any two-stroke. Throw a new plug in it. They're very cheap. And just to keep your uh, two-stroke oil full, run a good synthetic. Um, and they'll last a long, they should last a long time. Now this thing is 22 years old. I don't really know if it is original engine, but everything looks original, I'm guessing. It really doesn't have a lot of miles, 2100 miles, so. Yeah, I don't want to stop this. Good so his drop off. And a little muddy around around here. found is this thing you know taking off in high range this is high range you know it's got power but kind of got a little bog and then it takes off I think it's the way way these are clutched and everything but you know you can kind of wheel it but it takes some effort you throw it in low range and this thing will it'll pick up um, <laughs> I know that wasn't very good, but she picks up pretty good, you know, <clears throat> low range, about 20, 22 miles an hour, it looks like on the speedo, we'll throw her in high, take her up the road, and see. Yep, two-wheel drive. One thing nice about the, uh, solid rear end is you can swing swing it around very easy and it doesn't want to roll like uh, independent does <clears throat> it's a little soft so you know the top speed probably go a little better if, if we had hard conditions but we'll take off here a little bit of a slow start but as you can see it 
looks up decent after that. And as I said, we'll probably get a little more speed on the way down, but as I said, we definitely get to uh, have better results on a firmer ground. This is uh, very soft right now. Mud season. Alright, we'll head back down and see what she's got. This is full throttle right here. <clears throat> Speedo shows about 50 right there. Maybe 55. Not sure on the GPS, but we'll find out in the end here. I'm just kind of all over. <laughs> just pulls you around, but that's about what she's got there. Now you got to remember, this is a 400, you know, so it's not a big machine, uh, you know, not a big engine by any means in today's standards. Uh, but it is a two-stroke, so it's gonna be quite a bit quicker than, uh, say, a two, uh, 400 four-stroke. But. But it goes pretty good, and like I said, you can you can uh, hop these up pretty good, put a pipe on them, reeds, and uh, I mean, you'll get some power out of them, but that is what she is. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.